Hey guys, here Mark the Geek. In this video, I want to do a update review after two months of usage of the LG G3. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so after two months of usage, the number one thing that I still love about this phone is the camera. I gotta say, this cam this phone takes amazing, amazing, great quality uh, photos. It takes great videos. Um, this right here, which is the laser, it's not a gimmick at all. Thanks to this, and combined with the optical image stabilization, it just takes great pictures. Very hard to take a picture that comes out of focus, and that's something Thing that a lot of people are gonna appreciate uh, of course here in the back you got a 13 megapixel camera uh, you got a dual flash LED um, here in the front you got a 2.1 megapixel camera that also records a 1080p and of course you also get a 4k recording at, at 30 frames per second the simpleness of the app itself is very good of the camera app itself is very good and I think they did a great job here. This is the, for me, this is the number one feature of this phone. The other thing that I still love about this phone is the design itself. Um, I gotta say, LG did a great job with this phone because um, uh, this phone is considered a big phone because it has a 5.5 inch screen. Um, but, you know, thanks God for the slim, slim, slim looking bezels there. Uh, bezels in the top, bezels in the bottom are not big at all. And because it has no buttons, here in the front and no buttons here in the side so i guess putting the buttons over here in the back was a great great deal for the design uh honestly the button here in the back still doesn't bother me i love i i actually like it i actually like it it feels very natural for me when i i'm i'm grasping the phone in my in my hands you know my fingers are already there so i don't have problems with the buttons being over there in the back and i like the design you know i like the design it makes the phone look unique and very easy to identify you know somebody sees you with with the buttons here in the back automatically you know that that person has an lg g2 or an lg g3 phone uh but I like it. I like everything they did with this phone when it comes design-wise. Uh, I like the fact that this fake brush metal um, plastic in the back actually feels like brush metal. Another great feature that this phone has is the 5.5 inch IPS LCD screen with a resolution of 2560 by 1440, uh, which is considered Quad HD, uh, 2K if you want to say that. Uh, but, you know, it looks very beautiful, especially when you're watching videos like this that um, actually take advantage of the screen resolution. Uh, but other than that, when you're watching Netflix videos or, or watching YouTube videos, it's hard for the phone to look this impressive and say that, oh man, it, I, it looks way better than a 1080p screen. It's hard to say that because you, you barely gonna, gonna ever get that quality video from streaming from netflix and 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 um and youtube when you're on your you know 4g network or 3g network if if so um but you know honestly would i recommend to buy this phone just because of the screen i'd say no i still say that um smartphones with 2k screen for me it's overpowered um, it's not necessary for me. 1080p is is good enough. So I wouldn't be running to the store to buy this phone just because of the screen. Because um, if you compare this phone to a phone like the Galaxy S5, which has an amazing Super AMOLED 1080 uh, resolution screen, you're not going to notice that much of a difference at all. And if any difference, you're not going to notice any difference whatsoever. So um, honestly, I wouldn't just buy this phone because of the screen. The other thing that I like about this phone still after two months, if it's the specs and performance of this phone itself. Uh, this phone has a Snapdragon 801 quad core, which is clocked at uh, 2.5 uh, gigahertz. And I gotta say, it feels very, very good when you're doing a lot of things here on this phone. Also has three gigabytes of RAM. Uh, like you see here, I'm playing Spider-Man here. Uh, it has three gigabytes of RAM, um, 32 gigabytes of internal memory, which is awesome, especially when you like to play games because these games lately, they take a lot of space. So you want to have that uh, internal space to be big and beautiful. Um, the screen, of course, helps a lot when it comes to video gaming as well, thanks to the uh, specs. It also has the Adreno 330. 
which is very good. And uh, that's it. But other than that, I gotta say, I've been enjoying this phone when it comes to video gaming. The color reproduction here as well. The launcher that I'm using on this phone is the Google Now Launcher. I like it because it makes the phone feel as stock as possible, which is the purpose of this Google Now Launcher. And still, you know, thanks to the specs that I mentioned before on this phone, everything runs very great when you have a launcher like this installed on your phone. So now let's talk about the things that I'm not liking about this phone and I have to start with the auto brightness feature. I gotta say after two months of usage, I'm still having problems with the um, auto brightness. Uh, when this phone needs to get bright, it just stays forever dark and when it needs to get dark, it just stays forever bright. Uh, and it's very, very annoying. I really, really don't like that. You know, I find myself using the slider a lot. Uh, normally on other phones that I had before, like Galaxy phones, on uh, the auto brightness feature actually works the way it should work um, uh, one thing weird that's been happening to me is that when I'm reading something on the web and I'm actually using the auto brightness you know I'm trying to to use it and, and and when I'm reading something on the web or watching a video or looking at pictures um, the phone for whatever reason just gets super super bright for no reason at all and then it goes back to very very low low brightness and with nothing changing around me because uh, maybe the problem that i'm having with this phone is the ambient sensor um, that's not detecting the light correctly maybe that's the problem i'm having but yeah this auto brightness feature on this phone is still very very annoying the other problem that I've been having with this phone is the battery life. Um, this phone has a 3,000 mAh battery life. Uh, you should be getting over 10 hours of battery life. And I gotta say, for the first three weeks that I was having this phone, I was having great battery life. Uh, but lately, it's been very, very bad. Um, luckily, if I'm lucky, I could get six hours of battery life. If I'm lucky, um, and I barely am doing lately a lot of gaming. You know, the only game that I've been playing a lot is the uh, WWE Supercards, and that is not a power demanding game. Um, right here, I took a screenshot the other day because this was very, very annoying. Um, I plugged my phone when I it was a ten percent battery life i plugged my phone like you see there the phone kept going up the charge kept going up after three hours after three hours of the phone being plugged in i was about to go to work you know and before i go to work i always make sure my phone is at a hundred percent so i was about to go to work i unplugged the phone and when i see the phone is barely at 39 percent after three hours of being plugged and I was going crazy at checking what the hell was going on. Was anything draining my battery life? I kept going checking here if there was anything draining my battery life. I kept hitting, you know, the RAM boost thing to, so I could kill background um, apps. But yeah, it was very, very, very slow charging. Something that should not happen on a phone. And that right there is very, very bad for me because, you know, when I go to work, the only time that I have to charge my phone is with a car charger. That's the only times during my job that I have to charge my phone is using a car charger and that gets even slower charging time so for me the battery life here has been very bad and um charging time very very slow and i took a snapshot there because this is a problem that's been happening to me uh recently and more consistent uh for the last couple weeks i would say that for the last three weeks i've been having this same problem the other problem that i've been having with the phone is the overheating uh, i remember in the first couple weeks i've been getting a lot of emails of people asking me if i'm having problem with overheating and i gotta be honest um the first three weeks of using this phone i was not having problems at all uh it was getting warm but you know for me it's it's normal to get warm when you're playing video games so but for the last i would say for the last three weeks for whatever reason whatsoever it just gets super super heated and i use this case right here which is a spy gen case and i gotta say even through the case even through the case you can feel the case very 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 hot and when you take the case off the phone and you touch the phone it is so hot to the touch that it actually feels like you might get burned. Um, the, this button right here gets very, 
very hot as well when it gets overheated. And the problem is, is that I do not know why that is happening. Because um, believe me, I, I'm not using the phone differently that I've used other phones before. Um, once in a while, I play games. And the game that I've been playing the most is um, WWE Supercard, which is not a graphic intensive game. You know, and... Other than that, I'm just checking my 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 emails. I'm I'm doing a lot of browsing, checking videos, and checking Flipboard. But other than that, there's no reason for this phone to get so overheated. So yes, I've been having problems with overheating. I don't know why the problem is. It happens very very randomly for whatever reason. It does. It provokes it to get heated. I do not know. And that's it, guys. That's the, my review after two months of usage of this phone. Uh, the reason that I do this video is to share with you guys my personal experience with the phone. This is the only phone that I've been using for the last two months. And, you know, I just lo I like to update my my review. Uh, another thing that I keep people keep asking me because this phone lately has been having problem with cracks right here. And this location right here has been having cracks, hairline cracks. Uh, luckily, thanks God, it's not happening to me. Uh, knock on wood. <laughs> Hope it doesn't really happen to me after making this video. But yes, um, there's a lot of people that have been having problems with um, this right here getting cracked. It's a very tiny hairline crack that happens from here to here. And most uh, it can also happen here too as well. But just keep that in mind. Uh, but other than that, uh, do I still recommend to buy this phone? Uh, honestly, you know, if you like a phone with an amazing camera and a great, great, um, beautiful 5.5 inch screen, uh, the design of this phone is very great. That, like I said before, I gotta say it's very hard not to recommend this phone because it has a very good camera, especially it has an optical image stabilization combined with the laser. Or it's an awesome combination right there. Uh, it's kind of hard not to recommend to buy this game, uh, you know. And just because I'm having this problem with this phone, it doesn't mean that you're gonna have the same problem. If you're gonna buy this phone, make sure you buy the phone on on somewhere where you have good warranty. You know, you have a good return window. Um, you know, 30, 45 days, 60 days of return window. Sometimes in Best Buy, I think you get like a 45 days of. of uh, return window um, that would be great and if you have the problems just turn it in right away because you're just gonna keep having the problems um, these problems that I'm having could be fixed with a firmware update so that's why I say you know I still recommend buying this phone if you actually like it if you actually like all the pros of this phone I think you're not gonna be disappointed but like I said be aware have a good warranty and turn it in you know just turn it in if you start getting these problems but other than that guys uh, this is all i have to share with you guys uh, this was my review of two months of usage of this phone if you have any questions please leave it in the comments i'll try to answer them and thanks for watching guys till next time